What's going down people, it's that boy Treasy here and we are on the final mission of Metal Slug 3. This is part 1, obviously long ass mission, gonna have to break it down into several parts. Now I'm just showing you the, the completion of mission 4. You can keep an eye on my score if you want to, you can see I've already died twice. I've not used any credits at the time, but I did complete the final mission without dying and that also unlocks the achievement for completing the game without continuing so you know apologies for dying before that but as for this mission you know what I mean it's all legit I just I just want to show people that you know what I mean it's not bullshit I've not got up to certain parts you know what I mean recorded it up to like you know the alien ship died got back up to it again recorded it from where I died you know what I mean nothing like that it's all one pr one playthrough broken down into parts so you know it can actually be done it's no good me showing you guys a guide that ain't fully completed itself you know what I'm saying so with that out of the way you know what I mean you start the mission you're given a choice of the jet or the helicopter personally I prefer the jet you know what I'm saying because it's cannon only turns at a 45 degree angle um, and what I mean by that is it doesn't shoot all the way up it doesn't shoot all the way down and I like that basically because my movement doesn't affect my aiming you know what I'm saying whereas when, you, when you're using the helicopter let's say I'm in a helicopter now fighting against this jet when I moved up then you know what I mean my gun would have went all the way up and I don't want that to happen because then I have to compensate my position and my movement to get the cannon back straight. You know what I mean? If you prefer that, by all means necessary, roll with the chopper. It's up to you. Um, now basically what I'm doing here, the first part when I was in the sky, I hold down that, that top corner um, all the time. Any, any planes that appear above me... Um, the rockets won't hit me because they haven't released them yet. As soon as they release the rocket, as they go past you, you shoot downwards towards that. It's all good, but just make sure you hold down that corner. As soon as you kill any immediate threats, get back in that corner. You know what I mean? Keep 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 shit defensive. When you're rolling through this area, obviously again position yourself bottom corner of the screen, just leathering everything that comes on screen. And as for that last enemy, the that was on the kind of platform on parachutes get underneath the tank to shoot it to avoid its shield when it comes to this boss or sub boss I should say you you can see that I've saved all my missiles just for this part um, because as soon as what's his face comes out the uh, Alan Alan O'Neill I think his name is the guy who comes out with the machine gun um, shit starts getting heavy you know what I mean but it takes around 18 to 19 missiles including your normal fire to kill that jumbo jet thing and if you've already hit it enough times and Alan comes out it, it the whole thing just gets destroyed straight away he doesn't even get a shot off and um, pick up his machine gun as well that he drops when he drops to the floor once you reach this area or some something else is not actually if you do manage to lose your vehicle while you're flying through the forest you're given at least three separate opportunities to pick up another vehicle it'll always be a helicopter though it won't be a jet again um, I'm not too sure about the first two times it appears I know I know 100% for a fact three helicopters appear if you don't get in a, in a helicopter for example um, I know 100% that the last one shows up just as the sub boss shows up so keep that in mind if you if you are struggling with that part of this mission once you get to this well another sub boss all you want to do there stick to that gun obviously shoot your tits off um, some some of these projectiles will still be able to hit you while you're on the gun but obviously in those situations you want to shoot as many of the projectiles as you can then jump off the gun um, preferably jump to well get onto the platform that's to the left carry on shooting while you can um, but save your bombs your bombs are going to come in handy 
uh, once we get in the mothership but I'll get into detail about that more when we hit that side of the mission um, so for now this is part one stay tuned for part two and good luck guys speak to you soon